Axelar is a decentralized network that aims to deliver secure cross-chain communication for Web3. This means it aims to solve the problem of interoperability, which is the ability of different blockchains to communicate and exchange data and value with each other. If you've been around long enough, you'd know that interoperability is a key issue in the blockchain space and is absolutely essential for the growth and adoption of Web3. So the question is, how does Axelar achieve cross-chain communication or blockchain interoperability? In this video, we answer this question. We will also cover the origins of Axelar, how it works, its AXL token, and much more. So stick around till the end to learn how Axelar can benefit you. Without taking any more time, let's get started. Axelar is a decentralized network with a set of protocols that allows cross-chain communication between different blockchain platforms. In other words, Axelar allows users and developers to interact with any asset or application on any chain with one click. But why is this important? Well, as you may know, the blockchain space is very diverse but fragmented. There are hundreds of blockchains out there, each with its own features, advantages, and limitations. Some blockchains are faster, some are more secure, some are more scalable, some are more decentralized, and so on. However, most of these blockchains are isolated and cannot communicate or exchange data with each other. This creates a lot of friction and inefficiency for users and developers who want to access the full potential of the decentralized web. This is where Axelar comes in. Axelar aims to solve the problem of blockchain interoperability by creating a universal network that connects all blockchains together. With Axelar, you can use any asset or application on any chain without relying on third parties or intermediary. You can also transfer value and information across different chains securely and efficiently. Axelar was founded in 2020 by Georgios Vlachos and Sergei Gurbanov, who were both part of the founding team at Algorand, a leading blockchain platform for smart contracts and DeFi. The founders have extensive experience in cryptography, distributed systems, consensus algorithms, and blockchain development. So far, Axelar has raised over $63 million in several investment rounds from some of the most prominent investors in the crypto space, such as Polychain Capital, Dragonfly Capital, Galaxy Digital, Coinbase Ventures, and Binance Labs. So how does Axelar work under the hood? To start with, Axelar consists of four main components, a decentralized network or blockchain, a software development kit, and APIs, a set of gateway smart contracts, and two permissionless protocols. The Axelar blockchain transmits messages between gateways on external chains using two permissionless protocols. They include the cross-chain gateway protocol or CGP and the cross-chain transfer protocol known as CTP. These protocols form the backbone of Axelar's cross-chain capabilities, ensuring the secure and efficient flow of information and assets across different blockchain ecosystems. Let's discuss these protocols a bit further to get a better picture. The cross-chain gateway protocol serves as the main tool for routing messages from one blockchain to another, much like how the internet's border gateway protocol connects a web of autonomous networks. The CGP performs the interconnection of various blockchains, facilitating seamless data transmission and interoperability. In essence, it's the digital bridge that connects these otherwise isolated islands of blockchain technology. However, what sets the CGP apart is its ingenious use of a cutting-edge technique known as threshold cryptography. This technique empowers a collective group of nodes to collaborate in performing cryptographic operations without revealing their individual secrets or compromising security. Threshold cryptography ensures that the messages moving across the CGP are not only securely delivered, but also thoroughly verified without reliance on trusted third parties or validators. This guarantees that the messages exchanged between blockchains are not just authenticated, but also encrypted, making them immune to tampering. Now let's move to the cross-chain transfer protocol, which is an application-level protocol that operates above the CGP. This protocol is responsible for facilitating the smooth flow of messages from full nodes on connected external chains to Axelar validators. What this means is that the CTP acts as a channel, enabling users to interact with applications on any blockchain through Axelar's API. The CTP is incredibly versatile, accommodating a wide array of message types, such as asset transfers, transaction executions, data queries, and event subscriptions. 
What's really interesting is its ability to adapt and implement custom logic and functionality for each blockchain, aligning with their unique specifications and requirements. Now that we have a basic understanding of how Axelar works, let's take a look at some of its key features and benefits. One of the main features of Axelar is its scalability and high throughput. Axelar can process thousands of transactions per second and support millions of users across different chains. This is because Axelar uses a scalable consensus algorithm that leverages the security and finality of each underlying chain. So the faster the external chain, the better. Another feature of Axelar is decentralization and trustlessness. Axelar is a permissionless and open network that anyone can join and use. There's no central authority or intermediary that controls or censors the network. Users and developers can interact with any chain without relying on third parties or sacrificing their sovereignty. All transactions and data transfers are verified and secured by the Axelar network and its validators. A third feature of Axelar is its consensus algorithm. Axelar uses a Byzantine Fault Tolerant or BFT algorithm that ensures the safety and liveness of the network. Another interesting feature of Axelar, which is pretty much its whole purpose, is its interoperability solutions. Axelar provides various solutions for enabling cross-chain communication between different blockchains, such as decentralized bridges. These are smart contracts that allow users to lock or unlock assets on one chain and mint or burn corresponding tokens on another chain. Decentralized bridges are trustless and non-custodial, meaning users retain full control over their funds. Cross-chain messaging protocols. These are protocols that allow blockchains to exchange data and information with each other. Cross-chain messaging protocols allow applications to access data from other chains and execute logic based on that data. Oracle services. These are services that provide real-world data to smart contracts on different chains. Oracle services allow applications to use random external data sources, such as market prices, weather conditions, or sports outcomes. Of course, we can't leave out Axelar's native token, AXL. AXL is an ERC-20 token that powers the Axelar network and its ecosystem. Like other native tokens, AXL has several functions within the network, such as staking. Validators stake AXL tokens to join the network and earn rewards for securing and maintaining the network. Fees Users pay fees in AXL tokens to use the network services, such as cross-chain transfers, data verification, contract execution, and others. Governance AXL holders can participate in the governance of the network and vote on proposals that affect the network's parameters, upgrades, and features. AXL has a total supply of 1.1 billion tokens, of which 440 million are already in circulation. However, AXL has no capped limit, giving it an inflationary status. Now, Axelar is not without its challenges and risks. As a new and ambitious project, Axelar may face some obstacles and difficulties along the way. One potential challenge is the regulatory uncertainty in the blockchain industry. As cross-chain communication involves transferring value and information across different jurisdictions, Axelar may encounter legal and compliance issues in some regions or countries. Axelar may have to adhere to different rules and regulations depending on the location and nature of its users and partners. Another potential challenge is the security and scalability trade-off. As Axelar aims to connect all blockchains together, it may have to deal with the limitations and vulnerabilities of each underlying chain. For example, some blockchains may have low security or finality guarantees, which may expose Axelar to double spending or replay attacks. Also, some blockchains may have low scalability or throughput, which may cause congestion or delays on Axelar. A third potential challenge is market competition and user adoption. There are many other projects that aim to solve the problem of blockchain interoperability, such as Polkadot, Cosmos, and Ren. These projects may have different approaches or advantages that appeal to different users or developers. Axelar may have to compete with these projects for market share and network effects. Regardless, Axelar is a very innovative and ambitious project that has the potential to revolutionize the Web3 space. By providing a secure, simple, and seamless way to connect any asset, any application, on any chain with one click, Axelar can create more possibilities and opportunities for developers and users of decentralized applications. This gives the AXL token strong utility and staying power in the industry, which is great for its investors and holders. That's all for today's video. 
If you found our video informative, then please like the video, subscribe to our channel, and press the bell icon to get updates on all our future videos. Also, let us know in the comments below what projects you would like us to cover next.